Okay, let's move on to question four. Question four says, Anisha B shows a route map and information regarding the 42,2 kilometer 2017 Cape Town Marathon. So now, before you move on to anything, what you do is you go find that annexure, make sure you got the right one, and then go to the questions. Don't go read through the questions without even having looked at the map. Okay, so here's our map. What's important with this, have a highlighter, right? So I've got some highlighters here. Get some highlighters. It just helps you identify what's going on and make sure that you have those with you. Okay, so let's now look at the questions. It says, name the type of scale used for the route map. So let's see the scale. Again, I said I'm going to use my highlighters. So this here, this is uh, our scale, and that is a bar scale. Okay, before I write that down though, I think in any map that you get, what's important is that you go find where north is. So this is where north is. So make sure that you indicate that because what a lot of students just assume is they just assume that this is north, up is north. But generally they, they put north slightly off where you expect it to be and then they ask you directions around that. So don't get caught up by that. Let's go write our answer down and then continue. So that was... 4.1.1, so 4.1.1 is a bar scale, okay? Remember, generally, there's only um, two types of scales, right? It's generally bar or number. Number can also sometimes be called ratio, um, but just to sort of um, remind you there. Then it says, what type of view is represented on this route map, okay? So what it means by that is it's saying, okay, when I'm looking at this, am I looking at this from the top, from the side? Um, and you can see that you look, you have a top view here. You can also call that a aerial view. So these are just like learned things, right? Nothing I've done um, up until now has actually been particularly difficult. Um, but you need to know these um, sort of terminology words. Let's go on to the next question. Name the Jena direction of the Grutteskir Hospital tourist attraction 10 from the starting point of the marathon. So let's see where we're at. Here's the starting point and where's Grutteskir? Grutteskir is, let's just see, number 10. So we're at one and we're number 10. And remember this is north, okay? So that to that is going to be, um, that's remember it's north, east, south, west. So over here is going to be between south and east because south is over here. East is over there, so we're going to say that this is southeast. Do you see how a lot of you would have just said, oh, it's just east, if you assume that north was upwards, but it's not. Be very careful there. Southeast. Okay, I've stopped skipping lines just because of waste paper, but in your exam, please do skip lines. It gives you um, the space to change your answer if you get it wrong, but it also makes it easier for the marker. Okay, 4.1.4. Determine the exact number of medical help points located on this route. Okay, so again, what I would do here, get yourself a highlighter, okay? And let's firstly go see what medical help routes look like, medical help points. Okay, so they look like that. So let's start. As we start, we start, here's our first one, there's our second one. Third one, fourth one. But let's see how this, this marathon actually goes. Do you see that it goes here? So five kilometers, then it actually goes up there to 10 kilometers, down to 15, up to 20, and then around this way. Okay, so make sure that you can actually see the route that's happening here. Because when I first saw this, I just thought they were running down here and then back up that way. But you shouldn't just assume, follow the information that's given. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, see if you can find any more. I only see five, so my answer to 4.1.4 is going to be five. You can write it like that, or you can write out the word, whatever you prefer. Going through these questions fairly fast, but it's because they're not too difficult. Okay, it says identify the suburbs in the vicinity, that means in the area of the halfway mark. Now, this requires you to actually kind of uh, go through information and make sure you understand it, like sort of sift through it. So the, the full marathon is 42,2. Okay, so what is half of that? Put that into your calculator if you don't know. So 42.2 divided by 2. And we're sitting at 21.1. Okay, so it's round about 20 kilometers. So let's go find the 20 kilometer mark. So remember I said they run here, they run here, they go up, they go down, and then we're kind of around there. Okay, so remember it's not exactly 20. It's going to be slightly past 20. So it's not going to be Saltrefier or Maitland. I don't know if that's how you say it. 
It's going to be a little bit further. So it's probably going to be Mowbray or Observatory or both, right? So I'm going to write both. I'm going to say Mowbray. Okay. Mowbray and Observatory observatory please remember to um always check your spelling here especially if it's a word given right if they give you a word they expect you to spell it correctly okay let's do our last question for this video so it says identify the tourist attractions indicated on the map between the 15 kilometer and 20 kilometer mark okay so again get yourself a highlighter so you know what's going on right here's 15 kilometers Here's 20 kilometers. So it's basically between those two points. So it's anywhere along this route. So it's fairly obvious that what I'm looking at is four, five, and six. Okay. So you can actually just write four, five, and six. What would be more accurate though would be to write what they are. Okay. So what are four, five, and six? Castle de Hutter Whip. I don't know if I said that right. Old Biscuit Mill and Planetarium. I'm just going to write four, five, six because you know what I mean. But you should probably write out the words four, five, six. And we are done with this question and for this video. Okay, I'm going to now move on to the second part of question four. And then we're well on our way to finishing this paper. Well done, guys.